Here we have a problem on uh, finding maximum and minimum value of a function. So let's go to the question. Determine the maximum and minimum values of the curve represented by the equation y equals to 4x cube negative 6x squared positive 3. Actually, it is a function because uh, here y is a function of x. And if I want to find the maximum and minimum value of a function, what I need to do is I have to find the first derivative and second derivative. Okay, first, uh, let me write the given function or equation as it is. That is y, y equals to 4x cube negative 6x squared positive 3. Okay, so now what I need to do is I have to find the first derivative of this function with respect to x because y is a function of x. Okay, when I find derivative of this y with respect to x, I am getting dy over dx. Okay, so when I find derivative of this stuff, uh, so here the variable is multiplied by the constant. So I have to keep the constant as it is. I can find the derivative of this x cube using the power of derivative. That is, I have to bring this exponent uh, in front of the variable and subtract 1 from the exponent. Then I'm getting uh, 3 times uh, x square. I, I just brought this exponent uh, 3 in front of the variable x and subtracted 1 from the exponent 3. Now, 6 is a constant multiplied by the variable, so I have to keep the constant as it is. So when I find the derivative of this x square, I have to bring the constant, I um, mean the exponent in front of the variable and subtract 1 from this exponent. If I subtract 1 from this exponent 2, the exponent will become 1. Whenever the exponent is 1, we don't have to mention. And uh, positive, the, de the derivative of this constant 3 is 0. Okay, now let's simplify the result of the first derivative. That is dy over dx equals to 4 times 3 is uh, 12 x square negative 6 times 2 is uh, 12 and we have x over here. That is 12 x. Okay, now uh, we can do the second derivative. When I do the second derivative, I have to write d square y in uh, numerator. That is, uh, so here I have taken square for d. That is, I do second time derivative for this y. In denominator, I have to take square for the x over here. So that means uh, both the times I do derivative with respect to the same variable x. Okay, now when I do derivative of this term, I have to keep this constant 12 as it is because it is multiplied by the variable. And the derivative of this x square is uh, 2x negative. And again, we have a constant. So we have to keep this constant as it is. And I find derivative of x with respect to x, it will just become 1. Okay, now I'm getting uh, d square y over dx square equals to 12 times 2x is uh, 24x and negative 12. Okay, now uh, let me factor this expression. So that is d square y over dx square equals to. So here, what's the greatest common divisor for 24x and 12? That's 12. So 12 can be factored out. If 12 is factored out, then I allow uh, 2x negative 1 inside the parenthesis. Because when I distribute this 12 to 2x, I'm getting 24x. When I distribute this to, uh, 12 to negative 1, I'm getting uh, negative 12 over here. So the factoring what I've done is correct. Okay, now uh, I got the first derivative and second derivative. Now my next step is equate the first derivative to zero and solve for x. So the first derivative dy over dx has to be equated to zero. So then uh, if dy over dx equals to zero, then the stuff which is equivalent to the first derivative dy over dx also must be zero. That is 12 x square and negative 12 x equals to zero. Okay, now we have to solve for x in this equation. Okay, here uh, we can factor this uh, expression over here on the left side. The greatest common divisor for these two terms is uh, 12x. So 12x can be factored out. So if I factor 12x out, then I'm getting uh, x negative 1 inside the parenthesis. And also we can verify uh, the factoring what we have done. That is when I distribute this 12x to x, I'm getting 12x square. When I distribute this 12x to negative 1, I'm getting negative 12x. Okay, now the product of these two quantities equals to zero. So either the first quantity 12x must be zero or the second quantity x negative one must be zero. Okay, now to solve for x in this equation, I have to divide both sides by 12. When I do so, this 12, 12 will cancel out. x equals to zero over 12 is uh, just zero. I got the first value of x. And to solve for x in this equation, I have to add one to both sides. When I do so, this negative one plus two one will cancel out. I'm getting x equals to one. So when I equate the first derivative to zero, and I'm getting two values for x. One is x equals to zero and x equals to one. So the name of these two values uh, is critical numbers. So when I equate the first derivative to zero, I'm getting two critical numbers. One is zero, another one is one. Apart from these two critical numbers, which I get by equating the first derivative to zero, I have to check uh, so whether there is any value of x which makes this dy over dx undefined. So what is the result of dy over dx? It's a polynomial. So is there any value of x for which uh, this uh, the expression will become uh, undefined? No, there is no chance because it's a polynomial. It is uh, defined for all real values of x. So no real value of x will make this expression undefined. So there are only two critical numbers. So whenever I want to find critical numbers of a function, I have to equate the first derivative to zero and solve for x. Apart from that, I have to check whether there is any value of x 
which will make the first derivative undefined but in our problem no no real world fx will make uh, dy over dx undefined so we have only two critical numbers 0 and 1 we got these two critical numbers by equating the first derivative to 0 okay now what i need to do is i have to plug in each of these two critical numbers into the result of the second derivative i'm sorry i'm not, I'm not here in this one because this is a, a result of the second derivative which in factor form Okay, so if I plug in the values of x in, into the second derivative, so that we have in factor form, it will be easier for us uh, to do some further calculation. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in x equals to 0 into the second derivative over here. Let me do it. So this, that is I'm going to plug in x equals to 0. Let me do finish. d square y over dx square equals to 12 times. Uh, so when I plug in x equals to 0, this part will completely become 0. Then I'm getting 12 times negative 1, which is negative 12. That is less than zero. So when I plug in x equals to zero into the second derivative, it becomes negative. So for a particular critical number, if the second derivative becomes uh, less than zero, that is negative, then we have to say at x equals to zero, the given function has a maximum value. Okay, now let me plug in the second critical number, x equals to one into the uh, second derivative. Let me do it. That is uh, d square y over dx square equals to uh, 12 times uh, uh, 2 times 1 negative 1 so 12 times 2 times 1 is 2 2 negative 1 is just 1 finally I'm getting uh, 12 which is greater than 0 so that is when x equals to 1 the second derivative becomes positive that means that x equals to 1 we have the, the given function as a minimum value now how do you have to find the, the maximum value and minimum value so for that what I need to do is I have to plug in this x equals to 0 into the given function uh, to get the maximum value. Okay, let me do it. So y equals to, now I plug in x equals to 0 uh, into the original function. It is four, 4 times 0 to the third power, negative 6 times 0 to the second power, positive 3. So we get y is equal to, so 0 to the third power is 0, and 0 multiplied by 4, it will become 0, the same thing. So 0 squared is 0, 0 multiplied by anything will become 0, pass to 3. So y equals to 3. When I plug in x equals to 0 into the original function or equation, I'm getting y equals to 3. So this is the maximum value. Let me write over here. So the maximum value of the function is 3. Okay, now to get the minimum value of the function, what I have to do? So I have to plug in the second critical number 1, x equals 1 into the original function because when x equals 1, we got the second derivative greater than 0. In that case, we have minimum value. So now I'm going to plug in x equals to 1 into the original function. That is y equals to 4 times 1 cube, negative 6 times 1 square, positive 3. So y equals to 1 cube is 1, 1 times 4 is 4. Negative 1 square is 1, 1 times 6 is 6, positive 3. So when I simplify this one, so 4 positive 3 is 7, 7 negative 6 will become 1. So when I plug in uh, x equals to 1, I'm getting y equals to 1. That is the minimum uh, value of the given function equals to 1. So the maximum value of the given function is 3. The minimum value of the given function is 1.